This is some Nico Hülkenberg, Kevin Magnus and stuff. Welcome back everyone to some more F1 driver career mode on F1 23. Last time out we had a weird glitch hit us during the Emola Grand Prix so we had to DNF and bow out of that one. Um, so yeah unfortunate. Uh, we are on a bit of a poor streak here. P18 in Azerbaijan and then DNF in Imola heading into Monaco today. One of my favorite circuits so let's see if we can turn things around here in one of the stronger circuits. Um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it then. Monaco time, here we go. Here we go then, welcome to qualifying here in Monaco. It is time to see where we can put this car. This is a quali heavy track. That means that qualifying matters a lot. So let's try and put this car in a decent position. Let's head out there, see if we can make it to Q3 now. Good exit out of Raskas, let's see. See what our first lap says, it is fastest. Let's go, this track really coming alive for us. We love to see it. Let's go. This is what we like to see. Just like that, P4 by the end of the session. Lewis Hamilton tops the grid with Ocon and Sainz just behind him. Bottas, Sargent, Joe, Pocher, and Sunoda out. Moving on to Q2. Alright, second lap. Let's go. Or first lap of Q2. It's again fastest. I am in love with the circuit. I love this track. This is splendid, ahead of the two Red Bulls. All right, so we see a lot of cars beat us at the end here, going out on another lap towards the end of the session. Albon, Magnus, and Sainz, Lawson, and Gasly are out. My teammate bowing out in P12, ouch. But Q3, we make it through. Let's see how what we do here. Locked in, totally locked in. Let's go. Crossing the line to see ourselves P6 on used tires. These are totally dusted, 11%. So yeah, we're putting on some fresh ones and then going for another lap at the end. Only five tenths improved. Is that enough to get us into that pole position spot? I don't know. Fantastic, you've got pole position. Yes, let's go, pole position. For the Monaco Grand Prix, let's go! How close is that? 10 thousandth of a second ahead of Oscar Piastri to secure pole position. That is quite insane. So let's jump into this race and see how well Monaco goes for us. P1, strong, strong chances of another P1 finish. A proper road race and in the true meaning of the word. That's how Mr. Monaco, the late great Graham Hill, once described this iconic event. The cars we drive have come a long way in the intervening half century, but still we race on those same public roads beside the Mediterranean. There's no victory more coveted than that of the Monaco Grand Prix. With the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Sunshine lines up on pole position, and Oscar Piastri completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Stroll, Leclerc, Norris, Hamilton, Verstappen, De Vries, Russell, Ocon, Gasly, Liam Lawson, Sainz, Magnussen, Albon, Sonoda, Theo Porsche, Joe, Sargent, and Valtteri Bottas begins the race from the back of the grid. With preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. 
Let's jump into this one then. Let us see what we have in store for us. Yeah, the hard or medium strat is the one I want to go for. It is the most safe in the later stages of the seasons here. Um, yeah, tire deck's going to be insane. Let's try and manage on the hards and see ourselves to the mediums towards the end of the race. Let's go. Here we go. Inside line for the start. A lot of medium tire starters. So lights out. And we're off. Got a good start. Good turn one. That's what we like to see. Oh god. Little nudge on the barriers. I think I got some tire wear. 5% on the front right. Let me focus. Let me focus. I need to pull away from Piastri. Whoa. Screens like to freeze these days. Some update in the game must be making this screen freeze happen a lot. Okay, Piastri staying close very well. We just keep pushing. I think Sector 2 is going to be our best shot in trying to pull a gap. We usually are pretty fast there. Alright, another fastest lap. It's good to see. Trying to extend the gap on Piastri as best I can here. 1.2, he's staying relatively close. Maintaining this gap to Piastri here. This is good. We've hit a bit of a graining stage with the tires. They feel a little odd. There's always that green freeze right at swimming pool it's very odd okay Piashi's catching up a bit let's try and extend again whoa 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 I think that was a nudge Piashi's in I think his wings gone I think that was a nudge on me I was trying to break there he, he, I think he had a lockup. Oh my god, I la lost judgment at San Devot. Strolls on my bum now. Pause. Alright, it seems like people behind us are pitting. Yep, medium tire runners are now moving on to the hards. It's my pitting lap as well. So let's try to do our best on these worn hards. They are really slippery, let me tell you. Come on, let's push. I need to stay ahead of Stroll, who is in the pits right now. Need to make this a very clean and solid lap. Otherwise, we have to do some work on track, which is not nice here in Monaco. I mean, I can probably do it, but I would prefer if I stayed ahead of Stroll. That's not good. That's going to slow me down massively. In we come. Optimal turn in. Let's go. Yes, just ahead of the Mercedes that are just pitting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is beautiful. Oh, there's a bit of a screen lag. And it's Lawson. What a legend. He's holding up Stroll. Oh yes, Lawson, you beauty. Oh, this car is not beautiful. Tokyo drifting out of the pit lane, oops. Michael Massey on the line to Ferrari. Saying I need to get a penalty. But I get away with a warning. Oh, Liam, you legend.
This is some Nico Hülkenberg, Kevin Magnussen stuff. Yes, Lawson's holding him back. You are an absolute god, mate. It's been smooth sailing since Lawson held up everyone before pitting. So we are just enjoying a drive here in Monaco. This is like Max Verstappen simulator. But what a legend, Liam Lawson. I dedicate if I win this to him. Oh, that was a lot of wheel spin out of the last corner. But that's okay. We have five, six laps left remaining. There isn't much to this video, I think. Because it was just literally me driving all alone at the front. This is what I love about this circuit. It's just really satisfying. Driving this circuit is super satisfying. Let me tell you, when I first started doing YouTube and uh, I think it was F1 2020 at that point, I was doing horribly. I was pinballing off the walls. It was like having those guardrails up in bowling and hitting the ball on either side of the guardrails. That was me. But now it's just an enjoyable ride in the Monaco area by the seaside although Stroll looks like he's cooking all of a sudden who we'll let Stroll cook and just like that another lap done three seconds to Stroll okay I gotta focus up now we gotta use some of this ERS and stay ahead. Uh, I've cut that corner. That's one way of getting a bit more tense gap to the car behind. Here we go. Last lap. Stroll's caught up. My tires are dead. But he is having troubles on exit as well. Final lap. They're going to push with super ERS. So I gotta be cautious here. Just need to put in a decent lap and I'll be fine. Alright, not bad. Hold her hairpin. Oh, I'm sliding all over the place. Tires are pretty much gone. Yes, getting a lot of speed out of there. Good exit. Alright. Not too shabby. Boy, it is really slippery, let me tell you. This, this is on ice skates. Uh oh. My bad. You see, cars on ice skates. Really on ice skates. But that is it. Ooh, Monaco secure. Let's go. What a dub. Oh, superb driving. That is the race win, my friends. Well done. They've done it then, they've won here in Monaco with an emphatic performance and a victory they can be proud of for many years to come. Tell me Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result to them? Well they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool even during some of the more hectic parts of the race meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today and a stunning win for Ferrari.
Not bad at all, not bad at all. What a beautiful drive around Monaco to secure P1. And of course, big thank you to Liam Lawson for holding up the grid uh, when we came out of the pit. So marvelous teamwork there. Stroll and Norris on the podium alongside myself, Verstappen, Leclerc, Hamilton, De Vries, Gasly, Ocon, and Russell in the points. Signs, Magnussen, Sargent, Lawson, Sonoda, Joe, Bottas, Albon, Piastri, and Pocher round out the finishers. Fairly bland Grand Prix in the fact that there were no DNFs, no crashes, no major incidents, so that was quite stunning to see. 11 points ahead of Leclerc, which is quite a small gap now, but we are still leading the championship, which is important, and only 57 point gap to Red Bull in the constructors, so things are getting spicy up and down the grid. But yeah, that is all for today, guys. That was a Monaco Grand Prix. Not sure how much you guys are able to see because there was very little to show. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode nonetheless. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe using the red button down below, and hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. Thank you guys so much for the support. Take care, and I'll see you guys for a new video tomorrow.